Hey everyone, so Toy Story 4 came out this weekend and I told you guys, I told you it was amazing, I told you it was the story we needed that we didn't know we needed. Um, it, it, we got, we got Woody's story, right? We got, we got Woody's story. Um, so I will tell you that this movie made me super emotional, like throughout the entire movie. I don't know if part of it is because I grew up with Woody and Buzz, um, and all these characters, but I mean, I laughed, I cheered, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. Um, now you guys know I've been doing my 10 most emotional moments of, um, some certain movies like Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Um, and I wanted to continue that with this story because this, this story, this story, this movie, this story, it really was a, truly a story, um, brought out a lot of emotions in me. And like I said, I, I, there was a lot of moments. I, 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 I want to give you guys my 10 most emotional moments, um, of Toy Story 4. So let's do this. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. So I want to start off by saying that these aren't all moments that made me just cry. Uh, sad tears. <laughs> I cried some happy tears. Um, and there was a moment or two in this list where I cheered. Uh, the thing was, it was really super hard to narrow it down to 10. Again, um, this was a hard one for me because this story, like I said, I mean, I grew up with Woody and Buzz. And I just, I love Toy Story so much. Um, and Toy Story 4, again, probably my favorite Toy Story probably my favorite Toy Story. I loved this movie. I really truly loved this movie more than, I don't, I don't even know. I just, I, I loved it. I, I think, I really think it was my favorite Toy Story and I loved three. I loved three. Um, but so anyway, here's my 10 most emotional moments and I, they are not in order of how emotional they made me. Although the last one I believe is, um, is the most emotional. Uh, they're just in the order of, um, in the order of the movie. So here they are. First, I will say it was when um, Andy gave up Woody. So they showed that again. We got a little bit better animation because uh, things have progressed since three. And they showed us again, wanted to remind us of everything that has happened with poor Woody. Uh, we got Woody giving up. I mean, Andy giving up Woody to Bonnie. Um, so we saw that again. And that was like, ooh, okay. All right. Um, that was hard to see again, brought back memories. It was like a fresh wound, even though it was like years ago. It was like a fresh wound to me. It was like eight or nine years ago, wasn't it? It's been a while. Um, cause I think I was pregnant with my first daughter. So it was a while ago. Um, so that was the first moment it, it brought everything back and I got a little teary. I don't think I like sobbed, but I was like, Oh, we're doing this. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's do this thing. Let's do it. Um, next on my list, would be uh, when Bo left Woody. So we saw Bo, she gets, we, we see what happened to Bo finally, which made me really happy because we didn't really know why she wasn't in three. We didn't really know what was going on with her. And we see that she was gifted um, to a family friend, it seems like, and she was put in a box and she tries to get Woody to come. You know, kids, kids lose their toys every day. They get put in the wrong box. Come with me. And Woody almost did. He was close. He was really close. And then he saw Andy was really looking for him. He ran out and was like, where's Woody? I can't find Woody. And I think that's when Woody decided, no, I need to stay to be with Andy. Um, cause he realized he was Andy's favorite toy and that's what Andy needed. And, and so he said goodbye to Bo, um, not knowing that their paths would cross again years later. Uh, so, so that, that was a, that was a moment that kind of, you know, Bo, the Billy go and, and gruff back up and kind of give room to Woody to get in the box and Woody doesn't do it. And I think he would have if he didn't see Andy rush around looking for him so hard. I really do. Next is when Woody was left behind in the closet, when Bonnie's playing and she's like, I'll get the sheriff, Jesse, which I think is amazing having girls. I love that girls are like, yeah, I'm going to play with the girl, uh, make her the sheriff. That was cool. Um, but it still was like, poor Woody, right? He gets his first dust bunny and they laugh at him. And I thought that was funny. Um, but it was also emotional and I like felt bad for Woody. I was like, you could tell he's sad, right? He's trying to run the room because that's what he did, uh, at home. You know, that's what he did. At, it, I don't want to say at home, but that's what he did in Andy's room. And that just wasn't the case anymore. Um, and you kind of realize that Woody's at this crossroads, I guess, where he's just not, um, he's not the, he's not the same, you know, it's, it's just, um, Things have changed for Woody. 
Next, it takes a jump in the movie, but um, it's when Gabby Gabby tells her story. So we think she's this villain, and you're like, what's I, like, what's going on with her? Like, I, I, she's like trying to steal Woody's voice box. I don't like this girl. What's going on? Um, but then, uh, yeah, she tells her story, and you realize she was she was made defective, and she never got a friend. And when she asked Woody, what was it like to be a favorite toy? What was it like to be played with every day? Like that's. And she genuinely was like, how did it feel? You know, you got that moment. I never got that moment. And I felt really bad for Gabby Gabby. And that's the moment when I actually looked over at my daughter who's six and she was sobbing and she goes, I just feel so bad for Gabby Gabby. And I was like, oh, like I get it. You know, it was a very valid reason. That's a very valid reason to cry. Like you feel bad for Gabby Gabby. You're like, this is where she's coming from. It wasn't what I was expecting. Um, and she just never got that moment with a kid. And so uh, that part definitely, uh, I think my daughter crying didn't help. That was a very, very emotional moment, which leads right into the next moment, which is when Woody gives up his voice box. Um, Woody realizes he had his moment. He had his time with Andy. He was the favorite toy. He's no longer a favorite toy. He's left behind often. Uh, he's thrown in the closet. Uh, despite Andy telling Bonnie, take very best care of Woody. He's the best. Um you know, that just wasn't Bonnie's cup of tea. And that's fine. Um, that sort of thing happens. But um, for for Woody to just say, you know what, I want to give Gabby Gabby a turn. She can, she can take the box. Um, I'm not going to put up a fight. I don't need it. Right? That was pretty emotional. Which leads me into uh, when Gabby Gabby was ready to to get her kid. She was ready for Harmony to pick her up and want her. And she pulled her string, you know, so Harmony found her. And Harmony was like, oh, cool. Uh, and then, like, didn't want her. Her grandmother said, you can take her, I believe. And she was like, no. She threw her in a box. Just threw her in a box, didn't want her anymore. Poor Gabby Gabby, right? It broke her heart. She's laying there. She's like, what do you, you can have your voice box back. I'm done. Um, but Woody was not ready to give up on her. And Woody was like, we can get you to Bonnie. This was not your only chance, um, which I thought was really awesome. Really great moment. Uh, and that made me really excited. But I was also really, really sad um, for Gabby Gabby. But uh, I love how Woody, he's always trying to fix things, right? Come to the rescue, as Bo said in the trailer. So the next moment it made me really excited was when Duke Kaboom got his big his big jump. So he has gone on and on um, about how he he disappointed his kid. He didn't get, he couldn't do a big jump like the commercial. And his kid was like, "Nope, I don't care about you." And poor Duke has kind of been a lost toy since then, right? So for him to be able to make that big jump and he did it with his eyes closed, which was crazy, uh, and he made it. He made that jump, and I was like, "Yes!" And he said it was for his kid, and that made me so happy. I was like, "Yeah." I was like cheering for Duke. Duke, I love Duke. Um, so I was really glad. I loved that part. Um, it, it made me super emotional and super excited. And I was just so happy for Duke and the whole gang uh, when he made that jump. And then shortly after that uh, is when they run into the little lost girl. That was hard because I immediately thought of my child and my children. And if they were lost, you know, how scary that would be. Um, so so then they find this lost girl and Gabby Gabby doesn't even want to go to Bonnie. She's like, I know this is where I need to be. I need to be with this girl. And the girl found Gabby Gabby and loved her. And, and actually Gabby, having Gabby Gabby made her brave enough to go find someone to help her, um, help her find her parents, which I thought was great. And she was telling her parents all about this is Gabby Gabby when she found her parents. And I, I really loved that. I was so happy for Gabby Gabby and for that girl. Um, and I would love to see maybe a little short with that in the future. I know we are getting a short with Forky, um, or a couple of shorts, I should say a series coming to Disney plus. We found that out in my interviews with the cast. Um, so we're getting Forky. So why not get something with Gabby Gabby? Cause I kind of love her now. Like I really kind of love her. And these last two moments are really hard to talk about and I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm already going to cry thinking about it. Look at this. This is crazy. Okay. So, uh, the first one would be when Buzz tells Woody she's going to be okay because so they've reunited a little bit and, and Woody is leaving Bo at this point. Um, the crazy stuff with the RV happened. They made their way in. That little unicorn is like, the dad is going to jail. That part was hilarious. <laughs> um, but I really, really liked when, um, 
Um, it's Buzz and Woody looking at each other, and Buzz says, she's she's going to be okay. And you think for a second he's talking about Bo. You know, Woody, you're leaving Bo. You're coming back with Bonnie. And then when you realize he means Bonnie is going to be okay, and Woody is leaving his friends, his, his toys, and he's leaving Bonnie. He's going to become a lost toy. He's decided he knows he's not the favorite toy, and it's not going to truly make him happy. I mean, he, he, he's not running Bonnie's room like he was running Andy's room. And for him to just, for Buzz to say, hey, it's going to be okay. Um, and that brings me to the very last thing, the most emotional moment, I mean, hands down for me, was when the RV is pulling away and you see Buzz and he looks up at Woody and he says, to infinity. And then Woody says, and beyond. Yeah. That was, it It was so meaningful. Um, and even when I was interviewing Tom Hanks, he said, Tim was like, wait till you get to the end. It's really hard. I'm still dealing with it. Sorry, guys. I had to take a quick break right there. Uh, this is hard. Um, I couldn't get the words out. So when, <laughs> when I was interviewing Tom and Tim, uh, Tom Hanks said that Tim Allen had texted him and was like, hey, wait till you get to the end. It's going to be really hard. And Tom Hanks actually said he had to turn the, turn and face the wall, face away from everybody when he was reading those last few lines, the last line specifically the um, and beyond, because he said he couldn't have everyone looking at him and he, he just needed to be in that space and that he was like, is that is that right? Is this the last line? Like for Woody to say the and beyond, it just shows the two of them, which I love the two of them. I love Woody and Buzz together. And the fact that they're separating is really hard. You know, they're just, they're moving on. They have to move on. I mean, for Woody to be happy and, and Buzz is okay with it. He gets it. Um, <clears throat> but that's really emotional. Um, but so good. So, so, so good. And I just loved having, having Woody's story and, and hopefully we get more story. Um, I don't know when, and I, I don't know that we need it, but this was a story we needed. We needed this, and I am so glad we got it. It was, it was more than I could have ever imagined. I, I never, I, I mean, I never could have imagined a story, the story going this way. And I'm so, so glad that we got this because it was what we needed and what Woody deserved, really, in my opinion. Um, so those are my 10 most emotional moments of Toy Story 4. You guys, in the comments, if you have seen this movie, please tell me, um, what what for you what was the most emotional moments if you haven't seen the movie yet i just gave you a whole ton of spoilers but i warned you so i don't know what to tell you <laughs> sorry uh but um go see it now this weekend it is in theaters and it is worth watching you need to watch this movie this is a movie we all needed i promise you watch it um so good so 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 good gosh i loved this movie so much and um i can't wait to see it again i've seen it twice now and I can't wait to see it a third time uh it's just amazing and everyone is so extremely talented and the whole thing is just phenomenal um be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter I am at Mama's Geeky if you missed it um I was at Walt Disney World for the Toy Story 4 press junket uh Disney invited me and I was so thankful because it was such an amazing experience so I have lots of pictures up from that uh so be sure to check that out on my Instagram um and check my Twitter feed as well uh don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel like I said, give me that, give me that thumbs up for this, for this video and uh, comment below with all your thoughts on Toy Story 4.